All right, so this video covers how to uninstall Norton antivirus in its various types. Uh, it is set on, in this case, it is on an XP machine, although the installation, uninstallation in this case, is almost identical on a Vista or a Windows 7 machine. Here you see we go to start, which on uh, Vista or 7 is going to be the little Microsoft medallion, and you go up to control panel. Under control panel, it's going to look very similar in Vista or 7. Here it says add or remove programs. There it gives you the option down lower to uninstall the program. So here you see us launching the add remove programs option. It, it populates differently in Vista and, and 7 than it does in XP. So here in a minute we're going to actually pause the video and then pick up when it populates. So we'll save a little bandwidth for YouTube. And uh, But basically what we're going to do is it'll populate this list. We'll scroll down, find and select Norton Antivirus. Now this is going to be the same for Norton 360 or whatever the variant is out at the time, whether you've got basic Norton or Norton with a firewall, anti-spam, the whole nine yards. So here we're going to pause the video and then kaboom! The magic of Hollywood, we're back. And here we are selecting Norton Antivirus from the list. We're hitting change remove. Uh, very, very similar process again as I said in 7 or Vista. And then it's going to begin to populate the actual program uninstaller. The program uninstaller is going to load. As it goes through the uninstallation process, we're going to pause again to catch up. So we're going to shorten the length of the, the overall length of the video by doing this. So we're going to select what we want to get rid of. We don't want to save any settings. We don't want anything to linger. We are going to have to run an additional uninstaller um, after the restart, unfortunately, because Norton's actual uninstaller doesn't do a great job. Here you see we select the lower option. We're going to click next. And it gets, gives us this beautiful, beautiful little uninstaller here. Immediately notifies us that our antivirus is no longer there with the uh, Security Center plugin. And it's going to go through the uninstall process. So you see it counting all the different files and what have you. So um, whether you're going to reinstall Norton or not, maybe you've got a problem with Norton, maybe you're fed up with Norton, whatever, this, un this uninstall video will walk you through it. We're going to pause. Then we pick up immediately, it's ready to restart. We're going to restart, and with the wonderful Cam Studio software, we'll pick up immediately with the restarted computer. It'll be back up on the desktop here in just a moment, and we will continue the process of actually getting rid of the rest of it. So, kapow, here you go. We've restarted the computer, it's back up on the desktop. Cam Studio is recording again. You notice that the antivirus has been removed. We're going to go out to the internet, no matter what browser you use, whether you're using uh, Chrome or another browser. In this case, uh, this computer is equipped with Internet Explorer, so we're going to go out to the web. Google's our homepage. We're going to go out and type in download Norton removal tool. So here we go. We're going to select the option. And uh, once we go to the page here, you'll see several pages from Symantec. Notice that these are from Symantec. I recommend the one from Symantec. Some other pages may be compromised and it may actually be a virus, so you got to be careful. We're going to choose the one for 360, and I actually want to show you something here uh, that I've encountered. Uh, that the the 360 specific remover I've never been real satisfied with. It never seems to do anything. So we're actually going to download this bdump file, and once we get it, you'll notice it really doesn't do anything. So I'll show you the one that I actually recommend using is for another Norton product. And instead of being named B-Dump, it is named uh, I think like Norton Remover or Removal, something like that. So we're going to go back. We're going to specifically check. There we go. And uh, in this case, I think it's a 2010 product. It may be an 09 product that this thing's installed with. We're going to go with 2010. And uh, so you know what year this was produced. This is actually the 10th of December that I'm filming this. We're going to save the file and let this puppy download. And so this is the actual Norton removal tool that we're looking for. And uh, this is going to remove the registry keys and the file entries that are going to continue to run if you don't. I've actually seen parts of the firewall still running. I've seen some of the some of the applications trying to block things from coming in. Um, I've seen some of the anti-spam software still running, depending on what version you have. So it can be very frustrating. We've now downloaded this program, and we've launched the program. Notice next, and then we have to agree. And uh, just in case this wasn't annoying enough, you have to type in their little cryptic code. I guess this is so somebody doesn't package it and run it as a virus and eliminate all of the Norton copies in the world. 
but once you run this application it's going to want you to restart and Norton will basically be gone. I haven't seen a lot of problems that linger after this so you can now install the antivirus of your choice. If you're interested in knowing the antiviruses that I recommend, there's a couple of them that I do recommend and uh, you, if you go over to the more, uh, more info, uh, more from uh, Real World Geek, you can see some more information over there. Uh, to the right, there are some videos where I recommend some products and you can learn more. So if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to post. I appreciate those and uh, uh, I will see you next time for one of the next videos. Have a great day.